Imagine this, you are in a cave, but not just any cave. This is where you've spent your entire life, chained, unable to move, unable to look around, and unable to see the world behind you. All you can see are shadows on a wall in front of you, shadows cast by objects and figures you've never actually seen. These shadows are all you've ever known, and to you, they are the truth. All you can see are shadows on a wall in front of you, but what if I told you that the shadows on the wall were not the real world? What if the reality you've always known was nothing but an illusion? What if someone told you that you were living in a cave, in darkness, while an entire world of light, color, and true reality existed just outside? Now, you may be thinking, I'm not trapped in a cave. I live in the real world. But, what if the cave isn't just a physical place? What if it's a metaphor for how we live our lives today? Are we still prisoners of shadows, mistaking illusion for truth? Today, we're going to explore Plato's famous allegory of the cave and ask a crucial question. Are we still living in the cave? The story begins in the cave. The prisoners have been there since birth. They are chained in such a way that they cannot turn their heads. All they can see are shadows on the wall, cast by objects and people moving behind them. They don't know about the fire that creates the light, or the objects that cast the shadows. For these prisoners, the shadows are reality. Think about this for a moment. Isn't this something we can all relate to? How often do we spend hours staring at screens, lost in social media, movies, or the news? How often do we accept what we see on these screens as the full truth, without questioning what lies behind it? In a sense, aren't these digital images our modern-day shadows? Let me share a story. A close friend of mine, let's call her Sarah, was always so deeply invested in her social media presence. She carefully curated every post, every photo, every comment to create the perfect online image. And to the world, it looked like she was living an extraordinary life. But behind those carefully edited photos was a life filled with stress, self-doubt, and anxiety. The likes and the comments gave her validation, but the truth was, she felt more disconnected and lonely than ever. Sarah's social media life became a sort of shadow, a reflection of reality, but not the full picture. Just like the prisoners in Plato's allegory, she was trapped, chained to a life built on illusions. Think about your own life. How much of what you believe to be true is based on what you see in the media or online? Are you living in a cave without even realizing it? What are the shadows that you are watching day after day? Now, back to Plato's story. In Plato's allegory, something extraordinary happens. One of the prisoners is freed. For the first time, they are able to turn their head and look behind them. Imagine the shock, the confusion, the fear they must feel. All their life, they believed the shadows to be the entire world. And now, for the first time, they see the objects casting the shadows. They see the fire. And they realize that everything they believed was a lie. At first, the light is overwhelming. It's painful, disorienting. But slowly, the prisoner's eyes adjust. They begin to understand that the shadows were just illusions, reflections of a far more complex reality. Imagine, for a moment, that you've spent your entire life believing one version of the truth. Maybe it's something you were taught by your parents, by society, or by your culture. And then one day, you're exposed to something completely different, something that shatters your old beliefs. It's disorienting, right? It's like stepping into the light for the first time. This is the moment of enlightenment. The prisoner begins to understand the truth about the world they've lived in. The shadows were never the whole story. Let's take a look at some real-world examples of people who have broken free from their own caves. Think of someone like Elon Musk, who dared to challenge the traditional automotive industry by creating electric cars with Tesla. Or think of Greta Thunberg, a young activist who broke free from the conventional wisdom of her time to raise global awareness about climate change. These people stepped away from the shadows of societal norms and dared to see the world in a different light. But Plato's story doesn't end there. The prisoner doesn't just stop at the fire. They continue their journey, they leave the cave entirely. As they step outside, they are blinded by the sunlight. At first, it's too much. The brightness is overwhelming. But slowly, as their eyes adjust, they begin to see the world as it truly is, full of color, light, and depth. This is the moment of full enlightenment. The prisoner sees the sun, the source of all light and life. They now understand that the cave was a prison of ignorance, 
and that true knowledge comes from stepping out into the light. So, what does this mean for us? What is our light? What truths are we afraid to face because they challenge the shadows we've believed in for so long? And what would happen if we dared to leave our own caves? In Plato's allegory, the story doesn't end with the prisoner's enlightenment. They don't stay outside in the sunlight, basking in their newfound knowledge. Instead, they make a courageous decision. They return to the cave to help free the others. But here's the tragic part. When they return, the other prisoners don't believe them. They've been in the cave for so long that they can't imagine anything beyond the shadows. They reject the truth. Some even become hostile. Think about this. How often do we see this in our own world? How often do people reject new ideas because they challenge the status quo? How often do we cling to the comfort of the familiar, even if it's not the full truth? Whether it's in politics, culture, or personal beliefs, we see this all the time. People resist change. They resist the light. Think about Galileo, who was condemned for suggesting that the earth revolves around the sun. Or think about how difficult it was for people to accept new ideas like evolution or climate change. It's easier to stay in the cave, to cling to the shadows, than to embrace the unknown. So, are we still living in the cave today? The truth is, it's a choice. We live in an age where information is more accessible than ever before. But that also means there's more noise, more distractions, and more shadows than ever. The screens we stare at, the media we consume, the narratives we're fed, they can all be forms of shadows, keeping us from seeing the full truth. But we have a choice. We can turn away from the shadows. We can question what we see, seek out the truth, and step into the light. It's not easy, it can be uncomfortable, even painful, to face new realities. But it's the only way to truly be free. So, I leave you with this question. Are you still living in the cave? And if so, are you ready to step into the light?